What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Ravnica Allegiance draft here on the internet. I am actually going to do a draft here, courtesy of my good friend Crystal, who actually gave me a pre-release code. TJ also gave me one. Uh, subscriber and bro TJ also gave me a code. I'm going to actually, if it's okay with TJ, I'm going to give that one away uh, in the subscriber Discord channel. So if you're in there, we can give that away if that's okay with TJ. But uh, Crystal generously offered me one last night, and I was like, I will accept this and do a draft with this bad boy. So I'm going to go to, I think it's store if you redeem it. Redeem code. All right, so. Do I have to enter the dashes? Okay, I guess I do. Oh, and all right, cool. Oh, they're also uppercase, lowercase? Wow, this is weird. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Huh? Hey, we did it. Draft event entry. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was a thing. All right. Oh, and then you get a ticket entry. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm okay with that. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Warrant and Warden. I actually like putting a dude on top of your library or making a 4 4 flyer. Uh, this is just a Sarah Angel as the other half, which is pretty good. Uh, Depose Deploy would be cool if it came back. Azor so would Azoria Skyguard. And that's pretty much the only cards I'm really leaning towards here because uh, we actually just drafted. I'll uh, get to the get to the, get the point is actually very good as well. So is Titanic Brawl as far as green and and Rakdos removal spells. But pretty much go, I'm gonna go for Warrant Warden because even if we only end up in one of these colors, it's pretty easy to splash a Warden and Warden Warrant is awful also good in just white or blue. So it's supposed to feel like negative twenty tonight with the wind chill. God, I love Massachusetts. Oh God. Is that a good thing? Is that exciting? I would be like, uh, I'm out. And get the point. A second get the point. Wow. And a second Titanic Brawl. So this pack's pretty similar. Unfortunately, we have nothing great for for Azorius here. I wonder if get the point is just where you want to where you want to be in this pack cuz there's a lot of cards that could potentially come back. Hmm. Arrest your zeal, not super exciting. This pick's actually... I think, I mean, get the point, is probably the strongest card in the pack. It just kills any creature at instant speed, and you get to scry, which is just a pretty nice perk on top. We could actually splash Titanic Brawl off, like, a guild gate. I think get the point because I don't know what direction we're gonna go in. Wow, Bedeck Bedazzle is interesting. Third pick, Bedeck Bedazzle is pretty interesting here. I also also Ministering of Obligation. Both of these are very very good because like this is nice because it goes very well with this. It's it's just a two one for three, but it has Afterlife two, uh, which is one of the higher Afterlifes. And plus like Bring to Trial or Sphinx's Insight could come back. Whereas like we're probably not getting a ton of cards back from this pack for a Rakdos deck. However, Bedeck Bedazzle is not bad. Destroying a land and then dealing two damage to them is not great, but eh. I think we're just taking the Minister in here. And then we get a pack with like... This is a lot of Tin Street Dodgers we've seen. A lot of, a lot of Goblin Miladies we've seen. I think I'm fine taking a Quench here. Just to kind of stay on course. I think Bulrax is very, very good, but then we're then we're getting put in pushed into Jund here, and I don't think that's where we want to be. Or or Naya. Um and considering both Celestia and Boros were in Guilds of Ravnica, I don't think we're actually in a position to be Naya. Alright, so now we're now we got some options. We have Slime Bind, which I think is probably the correct pick here. It's basically just solid removal in this format. 10th District Veteran is also alright as a 3-drop, but I'm just going to take the removal. 
in the blue white deck i'm under the impression that you just want to be flying over guys anyway so same thing with second slime bind or a quench and there's not really many black or red cards that i really am super upset about not getting here it's definitely one of these two i think we're gonna go it's, we're gonna go with quench because there are more options for removal like slime bind probably just senate courier if we end up getting high alert again we're just just redrafting the high alert deck which is pretty sweet i think green blue is fine but i don't think we have any reason to be green blue here like i don't i don't know why we'd give up warrant warden and ministrant of obligation just for like a, a four three when we can easily take a quench or a slime bind which are probably just better actually yeah one four flyer blocks everything it's fine Wow, there's a lot of a lot of gruel in this pack. Probably taking 36 makes a 1-1. One, one. I don't think this guy's great. I think he's very expensive, but I think it's playable. It's a late Titanic Brawl. I could actually see splashing this, but the problem is, like, all of our guys are pretty small. Like, what are we going to fight with our 1-4 or our 3-6? I guess 3-6 is not, not terrible. It's not a terrible fighter. This pack is not exciting. I think Titanic Brawl is actually better than any of these cards. Although Concordia Pegasus does lend itself to being uh, a very high pick if we end up getting high alert. The, the other Titanic Brawl also came back. So did the, the Rakdos Roost about. Roust about. Prying Eye is also an option if we just want a late game card draw. Card filtering, I guess. I mean, being able to discard two lands with this is pretty good. We're not going to take Coral Commando, and I'd rather have the Simic Guildgate if we want to take Titanic Brawl. I'm just going to take the Prying Eyes. Oh, 06 or 4, not terrible. I don't know if we want a second Watchful Giant. I'll just take the this guy. Humongulus, okay. Azorius? Alright, we're just, yeah, this is just a mono Azorius. Uh, I do like the Simic Guildgate. Oh, wow, Exposed to Daylight was a great last pick as well. Gutter Bones, huh? Okay. It's interesting to me that you never have the option to open a foil card, so there's no chance to open two rares on Magic Arena, which is kind of unlike. <laughs> it's which is kind of unlike real Magic. In that sense, Code's not bad. Bring to Trials, pretty okay. Summary Judgment also okay. I think Summary Judgment's probably the best removal spell here for two mana. I think this card's nice that it lets you draw a card, but I don't, like, three mana, it doesn't actually permanently deal with the guy. is kind of obnoxious. I think we're just going to take the summary judgment here. Spirit of the Spires? Yes, please. That's pretty good. Not a big Dovin's Acuity fan. I don't really want to play my instance at sorcery speed, so I don't know why you're forcing me to do that. But again, Spirit of the Spires is not only good by itself, um, but it's great if we do get a high alert in the next pack that's hot trash I don't hate 3-1 lifelink applied biomancy is actually pretty nuts this might actually be worth splashing like this is a trick that blew me out the other day and we do have a simic uh, guild gate in the sideboard wow, two gates in the same pack huh Oh, that is the thing, I guess. Wow, Biogenic Upgrade also seems pretty insane. How many gates do we have to have to, to play a double green card in this deck? I don't know, but this card's pretty bonkers. I might just take the Applied Biomancy or the Gateway. Yeah, Biomancy is pretty insane. Uh, I mean, just being able to bounce their guy. Like, bouncing one guy and blowing them out in combat. Like, I double-blocked one creature and blocked... They had a 4-4 and I had a 4-4. And then they had, like, a 5-5 and I double-blocked it. 
and I blocked the 4-4 four four with the 4-4. Four four. They gave their guy plus one, plus one, the 4-4 four four plus one, plus one, so it survived. And they bounced it on my double blockers, and it was like the biggest blowout I've ever experienced. I was just kind of amazed. I mean, it's funny because this doesn't actually put counters on the creature, so it's not like... It's kind of off-brand for the Simic, but... I don't think Humongulus is great here without the other thing, so we can actually... Just play... I don't think Galloping Lizrog is great in our deck either, because we're not going to have many uh, counters. I mean, we could just take another Slime Bind. I don't think we really need it, though. It might just be Aeromunculus, and we're just trying to be the Bant deck, which I think is okay. Growth Spiral. Enraged Ceratok? That guy is really powerful. Maybe we're just splashing white here. Okay, now we're definitely splashing white. Yep, you're just really... You're pressing all my, my bant buttons here. Simic Guildgate? Okay. Uh, nothing in here. The code came back, which I'm okay with. Growth Spiral? Sure. Oh, the gate... Oh, really? This is the wrong gate to come back? That's sad. Put a one encounter on a creature, untap it. I'll just take Wrecking Guy for a sideboard. I'll take you for the sideboard, sure. The Lizrog came back. Wow, that's kind of surprising. And we're... It's on brand now, so... Uh, this guy's a 3-2 for 3 that just gains you life. is pretty okay. And we do get the high alert. Oh, man. And a Sharkto Crab and a Combine Guild Mage. This pack is pretty stacked for us, unfortunately, because we can't get all of the cards. Jenna, what's going on? Are we creating Lizard Wizards Frogs mics? Yeah, I, hopefully. That's what I've always wanted. A Lizard Wizard Frog mic. All right, so... It's actually a pretty hard pick. Um, I don't think it's High Alert anymore. I loved the High Alert Dream, but we have a lot of cards that we don't care about High Alert. Guild Mage is really strong, but I think just having 4-4 four, four Sharkto Crab is really strong as well. Making it a 5-5 five, five and like tapping down one of their creatures is pretty insane. Ideally, that Guild Mage could just come back too. That would be kind of cool. Azorius Guild Gate's great. That lets our splash uh, happen a little easier. I don't think we need a third applied biomancy. I would take this, though. That's a nice guild gate. Sphinx of New Prov. Jeez. I don't think we're actually in a position to play that guy. Definitely don't care about Watchful Dryant. If we're just splashing, Spirit's good, Ministrant is good, Summary Judgment, and Pegasus is probably not great. Which is okay, because we got two gross spirals to, uh, to kind of smooth out our two-drop spot. Let's make sure we, let's put these guild gates back in the deck. I don't like that since th since they have different art, these guild gates are different cards. Wow, that art is amazing. Look how high def that is. Sphinx of New Prob is very strong though. I also don't hate two three flyer with afterlife. Don't care about you. Drake is good. Arrestor's admonition's not bad. Yeah, the heart, the high def art is really nice. Like being able to see all these in like the way Richard Garfield intended is really, really beautiful. Um, all right, how many five drops do we have? Just the one. I can see taking Windstorm Drake, but we don't have that many floaty boys. We have Spirit, Aramunculus. Eh, we have actually a few in Afterlife too. Yeah, we can take Windstorm Drake. Essence Capture. Ooh, I like that. I also like the double guild gates here. Oh, I do like Essence Capture a lot. I can probably replace one quench with an Essence Capture because most of the creatures... Yeah, that's actually good. Right? I do like the combination with uh, Galloping Lizrog as well. Like, even just removing one counter is pretty strong. Hmm. 
The question is, do we Gateway Plaza or Simic Guildgate? I kind of like Essence Capture a lot. Yeah, I'm going to take Essence Capture here. Archway Angel. When it enters the battlefield, you gain two life for each gate you control. A 3-4 for six. It's actually not bad. If we have two gates, you gain four. Summary Judgment number two is nice. S Thought Collapse also just fine. We got a lot of counter spells. Essence Capture, Double Quench. Uh, Frilled Mystic and Thought Collapse. I think this card is probably pretty strong. We already have three gates. We can probably pick up at least one more gate. Three, four flyer for six, though. I mean, I don't know if we're playing Prying Eyes. It's a little bit expensive. Probably cut one quench here. I do like summary judgment. Not a lot of top end. I mean, we've got two five drops and a bunch of good four drops, which I think are fine. We also have ways to bounce their guys, so I don't really care about their top end. Yeah, I'll just take the angel. I can see playing it. Gatebreaker Ram. I don't know if you're really where I want to be, but none of these other cards are either, so. I mean, if this guy, if we have two gates in play, this guy's fine. And we just lost this guy earlier in Constructed, so that's got to count for something, right? I don't think so. Scuttle Gator? I don't care about Scuttle Gator. I think we want Steeple Creeper. Steeple Creeper actually is just a fine dude to be attacking in the air with. Um, nope. Nope. I don't think we need a third Growth Spiral. But I could see taking a Simic Locket, I guess. The high alert came back. That's just disrespectful. We'll take that in case we have a second, uh, like, a Zorius deck that wants to... Wants to be high alerting. Eh, Admonition came back. I can actually see playing that. Oh, Simic Guildgate. Wow, that was a nice late pickup. I'll take Wall in case we want to sideboard that bad boy. Last pick. Consigned to the pit, last pick. Never happens in a real draft. Alright, so we actually only need one cut. Playable, 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 playable. I think it's probably one of these two. These are both like kind of just tempo tempo spells that let you draw a card. I'd much rather... So like, the this is going to let you draw a card if you neg four on their turn. This is only going to let you draw it if you do it on your turn, but... I don't really care about doing it on their turn. How many creatures do we have? 13 again? I still were so low on creatures. That's weird because I don't feel like we... I don't feel like we're not prioritizing them. I think we can take out... I think we can take out one of these two. I think these are very similar cards. I think I'd rather bounce a creature than... This is a combat trick though, whereas this, this isn't. Like, this can actually get rid of uh, a creature on the board. And this can't. I also we also have two two applied biomancies to bounce things. So I think we're gonna actually get rid of the admonition here. But I like this one quench, one essence capture, and one uh, frilled mystic. So we have quite a few. Also, I like the essence capture because it does let us take counters off with um, galloping lizrog. It gives us another. It gives this guy plus two plus two if we if we're able to cast it beforehand. So one two three four. Uh, so this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cut one of these five, six, seven, eight. So this is nine, eight. Nine, eight, four. I like nine, eight, four. For what? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that seems good. What's gonna be our? Let's put Shark or Crab as our as our representative. <laughs>
Well, this is not the hand we want. I will mulligan this hand. This is not much better, but I'm going to keep it. Yeah, we can keep that guy too. Alright, so... I'm going to leave with the island in case we draw Essence Capture. We did not, but we still have to put somebody on top. Probably going to save that. Um, let's play this for now. Let's just keep the option open. Code of Constraint, we can actually bounce this. Nope, we can't. That's not the one that does that. I guess we're just playing this guy. They missed the land drop. That's pretty okay. That's pretty okay for us. No blocks. So turn four, we can code or we can just actually pump this guy, which is Hmm. So they can make this guy a... <laughs> this card's actually surprisingly hard to deal with. I also don't want to take a million next turn. We're just going to pass here. And sharks and crabs, I've seen videos where they have knives, so that's not cool either. Deal six damage to this guy, huh? Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Oh. Glad we didn't waste our man on that. Well, that's pretty rough, because now, like, we could have actually pumped that guy and made a 5-5 five, five next turn. Now we just have a 3-3, three, three, which is significantly worse. We could just play Galloping Lizrog anyway, which I don't think is great, but I guess it's better than nothing. Yeah, this 1-3 Menace is really reasonable in this format. That's actually pretty cool. Because <laughs> now we can just play Double Guild Gate here. I don't think there's... Like, us attacking, we we take three, they take three. I don't really see that, how that's beneficial here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine lands to five spells, as usual. Ten lands to five spells. Okay, so your typical, your typical arena experience here. <laughs> Good time. All right, eleven lands to five spells. I'm gonna concede here because they pump this guy. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We go to one. So, that was a thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I have to bring in this other quench or this wall.
I think that should be fine. Yeah, I have found uh, there. Like me and Rob did a draft two days ago. It's, it's already on YouTube for those watching on YouTube, and for those watching on Twitch, it's already on YouTube. And uh, the number of times in the first like three matches where we had to mulligan a one land hand was astronomical. Like it was pretty much like twice. It was at least once per round. Sometimes twice per round out of three games, which was pretty comical. Like I have no idea if it's uh, if that's just me having confirm like it's if it's just uh, I don't want to say confirmation bias, but it's I'm not sure if it, that is just a bias from me or or if it's a, a legit concern, but. Well, no green here. <laughs> Six drop. I'm going to keep this and just hope we draw a green source because... I feel like it's reasonable to be able to draw one. But here we are. Here we are. If we hit a green, if we hit a, a green source, the Xan is actually pretty decent. I'm gonna actually play the island here. The reason being that we can still cast this, and we don't need the planes until six. But if we draw green, green, we can play Frilled Mystic on four, which is nice. Uh, we actually have no reason to cut the white. Like if if you're if what you're saying is like you should only play two color decks on MTG Arena because the shuffler is gonna screw you if you play three color decks. Um, that's not a very good solution. <laughs> I think there's literally no reason why we should... Uh, yep, yeah, that's what we were hoping for. This, There's no reason you shouldn't be able to play a three-color deck with four gates in it. And all of your all of your cards being single color. Like... Not actually good draw. Sure. About an 8% chance. Nice. This is actually nice because not only can we cast Frilled Mystic and Archway Angel, uh, gaining us two more from this. I guess that's it though, right? <laughs> we can also cast this next turn, which is pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five. Right, Frilled Mystic is great, even not on curve. I agree. All right, well, I guess we win. So basically what you're saying is if we can hit our colors, we can't lose. We also have five, six, seven, eight sources of, of green and five, six, seven, eight, nine sources of blue. And if you think about a two color deck with no guild gates, your land distribution in 17 land deck is going to be eight, nine. You're going to have eight sources of one and nine sources of another, nine basics in a, in a normal two color non guild gate deck. So the fact that we still have a normal distribution of colors, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine blue, and five, six, seven, eight forests, eight green, in addition to the four white sources, means like we're not actually hurting our mana base by adding the white. It's actually a free splash when you consider it in terms of a normal mana base, a normal eight, nine mana base. So realistically, there's no reason why we should be getting mana screwed or mana... Uh, I want to keep this hand because of the colors, because it's it's really nice on the colors. We get to go turn four Mystic if we draw it. But boy, am I reluctant to, to not get flooded when we have a five and two distribution here. 
Okay, now we're talking. What up, Polsky? Yep, that is a thing. Yeah, we don't have anything to play here, so we're just gonna... Actually, we're just gonna keep on, uh... We're not gonna play the white until we absolutely need to, because Frilled Mystic. It's a very, uh... They're gonna spectacle something. Nope, just a 3 turn. Alright. Oh, do we just keep that up? So we're gonna take three. If we block here, we take three. If we block here, we take two and one. Only blocking here leaves this guy less susceptible to like the deal one damage card, so. I actually like playing this guy and then maybe like keeping up applied biomance so we can bounce this guy, put plus one plus one on here and trade. And then we can like quench something else that comes down. That actually seems very good. <laughs> well then, math, who knew? <laughs> I'll tell you who. That's right. Math. Yeah, either way we're taking three. Because this is whenever it's blocked, it deals one, right? Whenever it becomes blocked, it is whenever you start to the player or playing. Yeah, so. Same thing. That's fine. What do you get? A spin wheel acrobat? Sure, you can play that next turn. Wow, this is a lot of things are happening right now. Could play shark to crab, but... I don't want to bounce this because then they just get to draw another card when it comes down. So despite wanting to kill this guy, I'd rather just bounce this and like block here, pump, bounce, take two. The problem is if they play land, which they did. Oh, God, no. Oh, my God, I hate that so much. How many times am I going to accidentally do that? That's so frustrating. Pass two blockers. Okay. Good Lord. Okay, block to damage. I don't want to go to damage yet, though. I want to actually play... Okay, target creature get plus one. This guy bounce this guy. I just got a YouTube comment that said, just finished a draft and went 7-1, played 16 games total, and had to mulligan 13 of them. The issue, one land every time. Something smells fishy. Yeah, the amount of one land hands uh, is, is pretty fascinating. Wow, that's a weird... Does that not... That doesn't kill me, though. Yeah, that's fine. Because this guy's going to be a 5-5, five five, or a 2-5, rather, so that's okay. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Gross Spiral. So Gross Spiral actually plays, pays for itself. And we can still play Shark to Crab afterwards. Let's do that. Uh, put a land. Build this guy. Play this guy. Play Shark in the way. Oh, they, this is great because they didn't get to play their, their other guy. Yeah, they didn't get to play this. So they basically just lost a card. They probably should just play this instead and play this guy next turn. Uh, no attacks because we can block here. Ugh, a trade here. That doesn't seem great. I, we're probably just taking four this turn. God, I still have three cards. I feel like we're way behind here. Dan Omek, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thanks for hanging out, my dude.
just this guy. I really don't want you to spectacle things, but Shark to Crab's really good next turn. Yeah, no blocks. We'll just take four here. I think we can go to nine safely. Guild mages here. Oh wow, that's pretty nuts though. That's a yikes for me, dog. Alright, so we can easily play this. So this guy does what? Tap target creature power four or greater, sure. And this is target player discards a card for four. Deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Okay, so we're probably gonna take one at the end of this turn. That's mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven. They can activate both of these pretty easily, right? Make us discard. Or they can deal us two and deal us one, deal us three a turn. Mori, what's going on? Glad you can finally catch the stream live. Really appreciate it. Pass two attackers. Yeah, let's do that. Pass to end of combat, okay. Let's resolve and get rid of this guy. I mean, the alternative is like bouncing this guy. We're not going to get to attack with this. So we can play both. We can actually make this guy. We can't do we can't do both of these. One, two, three, four, five. So we only have seven mana. So we're just going to attack for one here. They're going to tap this guy down, which is whatever. Okay, so negative zero counters on this guy, one counter on this guy, right? Yeah, that seems good. And they make us discard this. Uh, that's brutal. lot of they have a lot of cards in hand <laughs> um i don't actually block here because i don't really feel like going to four this guy can deal one this guy can deal two so going to four is actually pretty brutal i mean we could actually draw frilled mystic which lets us play sacrifices a creature all right Actually, a decent hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just gonna play both of these guys, right? Thank you. 
Spicy jalapeno, four months of intellectual growth. Really appreciate it. This guy's a 5-5, five five, which is pretty good. I actually feel like that's a decent turn here. We're at 10. Well, 9, I guess. So there's this there's this there's this cool dude on YouTube. He comments a lot. His name is Alan. And um, one thing he always does is he comments about like the music that we mention, or he comments about like like he never comments about the actual gameplay. And he's like, I'm trying to leave as many comments as I can and never actually talk about the gameplay. And I was like, that's that's pretty funny. Um, this four four blade juggle is actually surprisingly obnoxious. So the other day he commented on the gameplay and I was like, hey man, did you just comment on the gameplay? That's really, how dare you? And he just responded. He's like, hey man, I know you're an MTGO guy, but seeing the pace of arena, I don't know if I want to go to five here. I think we can actually go to five. I, I don't I don't know if either situation is going to be great. They could just have another one of these and then like we're just going to have to sacrifice one of our big guys, which is rough. Um, he's like... Uh, I, seeing the pace of arena and seeing the art is just fire. Also, I realized that my account left a comment the other day about the actual game. I was letting Ben Stark borrow my phone. Didn't think he'd leave a comment on the video, shaking my head. <laughs> and that's uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. Alan, good good job, buddy. Good job. Well well explained. Some some shenanigans are happening right now. Oh, they're just drawing four. No, they're having white, right? All right. Hmm. Well, we're real close to winning this game, but we're not yet. And we're dead on board to uh, to this guy. This deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. This deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Why do they have the same stupid ability? Yeah, let's just give the guild mages the same ability, except we'll make one deal one damage and one deal two damage. Good call. Good call. Yeah, as long as they untap with this guy, we're dead. I don't actually know what to do here. I think I think what we do is concede because we're basically dead on board. Like, we can tap this guy. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Like, if we had a literal way to get rid of this guy, we'd actually be in great shape. So they just go block here, right? We can tap one of these guys. I guess we can tap this guy down, right? We can't do both, though, is the problem. So we're not strictly dead here. God, if we had one more mana, we could play the Ceratoc too, which would put a lot of... Like, they just can't block with any of these guys. Can this guy block? Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Crimson, what's going on? Glad you could make the to the stream. And not just the YouTube videos. Also, if you guys wanna if you guys wanna sub and support the stream and push us back over five hundred, I would be I would appreciate it. Not gift subs per se, because those just expire and leave me sad in a month. But if you guys actually wanna wanna join the old Sultai brood and hit up them subs, knock yourselves out. Are you make me discard my last card? Because it's not really relevant at this point when this guy untaps. Sure. Sacrifice your gutter bones? That'd be pretty good. That'd 
does not do anything, unfortunately. So they can just go block, block, block. Yep, we are dead here. All right. Our deck is cool. I think their deck is very, very good, though, so. So that's cool. Having a good deck is cool. It's okay. We got this. It's all right. On the draw, I think this is fine. So we have nothing to play, right? Okay. Well. Yeah, resolve that, sure. Sack your sack itself, please. Alright, so basically we're playing back-to-back -back Mardu decks. Back-to-back -back aggressive Mardu decks. Yeah, what can go wrong? Oh, that's unfortunate. Really? Just immediately sacrifice? Interesting. You probably could have gotten... Like, if I played a blocker, I would I can understand it. But, like, right now you're able to get four points in, and then next turn you still get to deal the two damage. Our draft might be coming to an end, guys. This is actually quite tragic. We're at 12 already. Like, if we draw a land next turn, we can play Senate Courier and keep up uh, Essence Capture and Applied Biomancy, which is nice. But as of right now, I'm just going to maximize our efficiency by playing Shark to Crab. Uh, I don't know if the draft form seems like it's going to be extra fast, but like it definitely has the potential to be with these like aggressive Mardu decks. Cult Guild Mage, your favorite and mine. Like this guy being able to just deal us two every single turn is pretty brutal. Of course we draw tapped land, unfortunately. I don't even know how we beat this card. Like it's kind of kind of comical, to be quite honest. I guess we can bounce it and then essence capture it. Well, we just take three a turn. Holy smokes, man! Are we just dead? Like they sack this, put us to six, put us to three, deal us one. Like we're just basically dead. What's our out here? Like, what do we even do to get out of the situation? I hate this. I hate that I can't use my time in my own way. Like, ugh, it's so frustrating. We just have to play this guy to, to be able to start dealing with the, the flyers. Go to six. Pretty brutal. <sighs> wow. Thank you. Kronoxa, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Alright, well, that's a thing. It's not a great thing when they can just deal us two, three more times. Oh, God. I 
I guess we just pass here. But like they deal us one and then two. And then they deal us one and two. Like we're dead in two turns. No attacks. This is ridiculous. These decks are ridiculous, dude. We're basically just dead to this guy. Like, we have to actually bounce this guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, good times. You got it. Like, we can play Frilled Mystic when they're just dead in the air, so. Let's bring... Oh, nope, not you. I guess we're just bringing in the really... Ugh, God. Uh, how many drafts in general or today? Yeah, I don't think our odds of playing Pegasus is very high when we only have five white sources, but... Uh, RNA in general, this is my third. This is my third RNA draft. It definitely, there definitely seems to be a high concentration of black, white, red decks. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. This hand actually seems pretty good on the play. We'll can grow spiral on two, play brush strider on three, or just keep up mystic if we do hit another land. I just came to say hi, mostly YouTube. Really appreciate the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. All right, next, next, end turn. Pass two attackers, pass down to combat. This guy. Play you. Play you. Alright, now we get to keep up Frilled Mystic, and next time we can play Brush Strider and keep up both Essence Scatter and Biomancy, which is. Hmm. Alright. Well. Well, we're not keeping up. We're not taking down our, our shields just yet. Uh, before this, our one of our previous decks was a Jund deck. And before that, after that, we drafted an Azorius deck. Uh, take action. Oh, being able to bounce this guy is also pretty sick, right? See, then we have matches like this. Like even last, even last round, we had a match, a game like this, where it was just not even close. actually keep up yeah I feel like we're way ahead right now yeah this game should be over thank you Kerwit 10 months in a row you can't get rid of me that easily buddy I wouldn't even try you are a, a gentleman and a scholar and a friend well see this is more like it this is how the match is the game should go it sucks because, like, you really need to have early game in this format, it feels like. Double vision. Burn, 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 burn. Mm -hmm. that double vision. Um... 
You know what? I'll keep this hand because it has all the colors. We can also go turn turn one and two guild gates into either one of these dudes, which is fine. Oh, that's actually great. Well, now we're probably just playing this into Grow Spiral, which is nice. Fairy Duelist was gas? Interesting. I might be undervaluing Fairy Duelist. We can actually keep up Judgment and... Like, this sucks because both these guys have Vigilance. So we'll probably just play... Aeromunculus here. I just hope you don't have a way to deal with this guy. How is the 4-2 is sometimes flying? I think it's fine. Yeah, if that's your turn, that's great for us. 100% block. That's pretty nice, actually. Or we can actually just play this and this, which I think is probably better. Also, being able to give this guy flying and then make it a 4-3 uh, a out of nowhere is pretty sweet. Oh, did we just get rid of a Skewer of the Critics and a Hero of Pre-Saint one? Wow, that was pretty good. We're going to say no attacks, because as soon as we attack with this guy, then they're free to attack with all three. And then we're taking four to deal two, and that's not ideal. I'm just going to no blocks this guy. We can actually play both of these next turn and kill the Death Toucher. I don't think you can fight with anything. I guess you could have the red green card. Now you don't have double red though. Yep, that seems pretty good. That is a reason to avoid it, I suppose. Gain four seems pretty good here. We can also attack for just six here. I think we're ahead enough to start doing that, but... This kitty cat is, uh... Oh, that's obnoxious. This card is r really pretty obnoxious. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna play land here. Like, uh, there's a lot of ways that they can make us discard things. So I just don't feel like I'm really dealing with those. And if they want to start sacking these guys to deal me two, it's fine. I feel like we're way ahead here, which is nice. Not a feeling I'm used to so far in this particular draft, so. They've also missed a significant amount of land drops, but they might actually be playing fewer lands because of the low amount of, their because they're the low, the low, the lowness of their curve is what we're getting at here. Block one, sure. Take six. This 
So I'm at a point where, like, if they want to use their resources to make us discard this forest, that's fine because they're likely going to be unable to do anything else. So every any two of these are lethal. And level two. All right, so. Worked surprisingly well. Is a crunch wrap a sandwich? Hmm. Huh. You know, I don't know. Yeah, let me maybe I start maybe start overvaluing or not overvaluing, but like valuing a little higher the um the the fairy duelists. Wow, no green, huh? This is how you're gonna be? We have Essence Capture and Senate Curry. Yeah, I think this is fine. We can probably find a green source. Famous last words. I'm sure. And also, if you're just Essence Capturing a, a good creature instead of getting the counter, I think it's just fine. I have not been a fan of Code of Constraint. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And no land. All right. You will have to discard because you suck. That's why. Submit. Oh, discard a card. Gotcha. Get rid of that, I guess. It's also a way of heart disease. Wow. You guys are really getting deep on the... Uh, on the mayonnaise musings. That's gonna be my next YouTube series. It's gonna be called Mayonnaise Musings. Hey, that's pretty good. All right. Well. If we had another blue source, it's pretty cool because we can go grow spiral into a second blue source into keep up essence capture. I like that even though I haven't been able to watch live in a while, but Frank still thinks he's going to draw lands when he needs them. Some things never change, man. Brutal. That's true, though. Yes, I still, uh, I'm under the the foolish impression that I will draw lands when needed. And here we are. I'm going to actually, we're going to, we're going to go for it. We're going to try to hit a third, a fourth land. That's cool. Look how stupid I am. What an actual idiot. 13 cards, three lands. Like again, if you if you if you draw that out over the the entire deck, right? So 13's what a third of the deck, uh, and we've seen three lands. So it's equivalent to having nine lands in your deck, basically. Nine lands in your 39 card deck. Cool. We're having a good time. Everybody's everybody's having a good time. Your upkeep it deals one damage to each opponent. You gain a life. Sack it deals four damage and you gain four life. Yeah, that's pretty good. Arkaby Grim, thank you so much. Ten, ten hundred no salty, uh, one salty, no, no salty land bucks. Yep, and still no land. All right, this is nice. We're having a good time here. Everybody's having a good time in Arena. What did you get here? Dovin's Acuity, sure. Dwight Schrute, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Big fan of your name. It's probably the best name on all of Twitch. Okay, they have two cards. Oh Christ! Look at this! Look at this fat dude. I'm just gonna slime bind this guy because it's actually pretty good for us to do so. Also, our ram is now a 4-4. Four, four. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. I'm surprised that we're not actually dead right now. Although this card is really chipping away here, I'm uh, not I'm not thrilled about it. If you guys need some new underwear or onesies, yeah, I don't like this guy, especially when you make. Uh, what are we putting the counter on? Put it on here so we can block this guy effectively. I don't want to put it on here because this guy can just get bigger. If you guys need new underwear or onesies, if you need a new onesie because your onesie is worn out, 
or if you need, you know, lounge pants or socks or anything like that, head on over to meundies.com slash franklaporeal. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, that's a great deal, and they're super comfortable. Read reviews. Don't, don't take my word for it. But you can because I'm trustworthy. But, I mean, you don't have to. No one's going to force you. Is that statue sleeping? This thing? Something is probably sleeping in this game. I'm gonna wait to play this until we have we have a lot of four mana plays. Yeah, I'm really at a no attack point in my life. This card is just ticking away. Since the old Jazz TCG player raids, I have Prime and never used the sub from it, so I couldn't think of it. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. It means a lot. I accept. I accept your generous offering. They have no cards in hand. I like this. So we're essentially seven life. So in seven turns, we're dead to this thing. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Bring it. I would like to start getting in there in the air. Also, we gained four life from this, so that's nice. I feel like we can attack with this guy, right? If they, if they block, like, what are they, what are they even going to do? They're at 33? Oh my god. That's vomitous. Okay. Let's go to the damage step. Let's not end our turn. Let's play another blockable floaty boy. Go play Gatebreaker in this guy. That would have been decent too, I think. But we're not super scared of this. Like, we block here, block here. Yeah, I don't think they have great attacks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this guy is three, so this guy can be a four-four. You're sacrificing that dude. Sure. Make two one ones. Three one ones? Oh, because it makes a dude and it has after. Yeah, this card is. This card's strong. It ain't terrible. This might have been an ambitious attack, but like, god, we're not gonna get anywhere if we don't start dealing the damage. All right, thankfully that was the only afterlife card. So in the future, you're only making one ones. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. All right. This guy actually seems pretty good here just because they can't actually deal with it. But I also kind of like like we can't cast this. We can make a five. five we can make a four four on on our turn. We do have to be careful of this. One two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five. I like Ram, but if they don't attack, then Slime Bind is not super useful. I'll just play Seraphok here. Cards obnoxious. That's actually great because now we just gain two more. And our ram is a little bit bigger. We can also attack with this guy and then just like if they. They can only block with like these four guys. And we have two tricks. They're probably just going to take four though. T -t 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 too much time on my hands. Can we block with Creature's Heart 2 or less? Which is great. This is like your uh, your foil in the format. That's like, oh, you got, you're going to make a bunch of 1-1s one -one and this deck is aggressive, so we're going to make a, a card that doesn't care about that. 
So now we get to keep up Warrant and Slime Vine, which is nice. This guy's up, what, a 5-5? Five five? Is he going to counter this guy? Sheep him. <sighs> Sweat actually cleans me undies, so you never have to wash them. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's I don't know if that's canon, Kerwit. I'm not sure if that's uh, factual. I'm not a big fan of this like board wideness here. We gained six though, which is a nice little cushion here. Yeah, okay. I can't do anything about that, so. I think this guy's actually more dangerous. Oh, is that the end of our turn? Yikes. That's what's known as a yikes for me, dog. Wow, that's also really good because you have this. I guess you get two one ones. It's not. It's not like the end all be all or anything. I'm just going to play Angel here and gain six. I don't really feel like... And next turn we get to play Windstorm Drake. If we draw a land, we can go Windstorm Drake and keep one of these up again, so... I guess we should have attacked first. Because now they just get to block with both of these and it's not great for us. Yeah, that was stupid. They're still at 30, though. I don't think attacking would have been super beneficial for us. I shall return another day. Time to drive home from work. Crimson, have a good afternoon, buddy. Yep. Two one ones is probably better than the alternative. Thank you. A literal cabbage just subscribed. Wow. What a time to be alive. Thank you so much for the sub, literal cabbage. Really appreciate it. Two, three, four, five, six. We're definitely attacking here. Do any of our floaties have vigilance? I don't want to give vigilance to this, but. This seems like a good attack. We can also play Ministrant and... Uh, this jump block? I'm okay with a jump block. They have no cards in hand? They can't sack a token, so that's good. Are they trying to? Are they trying to sack it to make another token? Because that's not how that works. That's weird because it didn't like go into it, you know what I mean? We can also just start activating these. We have so many things to do is the problem. Both of these cost four. I guess it's just ministrant here. We have one, two, three, four, five blockers. They have one, two, three, four, five. A lot of guys. Yeah, I want to keep up both of those things. Also, we if we if we draw a fifth a seventh land. Again, we get to play five drop and keep one of these up, so. This is being real. This is surprisingly obnoxious. The amount of damage this is dealt is. I mean, we gained six from this and two from this. So we gained eight. So we'd be at four right now, and they could literally kill us if we didn't have the uh, incremental life gain. Okay, we like that. I don't want to go too deep because, sure. Oh, you're gonna pump this guy up big enough to uh, to do a thing. That's pretty good. This is a good use for slime bind so that they don't gain the life and they also can't pump again. So you basically use slime bind to just kill that guy. It's fine. Great use of mana. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's fine. That guy did his job. Let's tap down this three, three. After like three is a little scary. Let's not do anything crazy, I guess. Let's just attack. We still have two flyers. Yeah, this seems fine. We can pump this guy. I don't foresee us doing anything else with the mana. I don't really want them to be able to block here and just make three one ones because when we're at eleven and we're basically at virtual seven, so So they have one, two, three, they have five attackers, sure. I think we still I think we have this game, but boy, this game has taken a while. Wow, two ill-gotten gains. Ill-gotten inheritance. Wow, that's insane. Alright, so we're gonna have to be a little more aggressive here. They can't activate both next turn. We go to eight and then they deal four and four. Like, so we're basically just dead to those. That's a yikes for me, dog. One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually Lizrog, steal the counters from both of these. Stealing three counters, making this guy a 9-9. Nine, nine. Pretty sure this is gonna be rough. Like we have to keep back a bunch of flyers, unfortunately. They can only activate one of these because it costs six. But if they draw land, they can activate both and kill us. This is actually eight, nine, ten damage. So let's attack with Sharky Boy. So one, two, three, four. We have to have four, but like one, two. trades to everything. So flyers, we have one, two, three, four. We have, sorry, we have five blockers though, right? So we have one, two, three, four. This guy's always going to block, so we can actually... Uh, yeah, that seems fine. One, two, three, four flying blockers. Five blockers total. It's actually six blockers, so I'm proud about this guy. We could have thrown one more dude out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like, if they hit another land, they can just activate both of these. Pretty ridiculous. This is like a weird situation where I don't actually want you to hit a land. 
Don't draw your 12th land. It's a guild gate! Uh, what do I think of the draft format so far? I mean, like most draft formats, it's actually, I think it's fine right now. Um, they have two blockers and literally nothing else. I think they might be dead here. We can also bounce whatever blocks the trample guys. Four. So they block biggest guys. Five and four. They take nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. Oh my god, they're not dead. That's unbelievable to me. Yeah, this is pretty dumb. Why don't you have trample? So you so you take nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fifteen, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Saddest of days. And then you just act. And also you gain four here, so I guess it doesn't matter. This is it. What a dumb game. We also could have put this on top to gain six. But we have no way to draw a card this turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. We have no way to draw a card. That is super sad. Yeah, all of our guys are evolved except for Aeromunculus. Making sure we don't have anything that we can do here. Yeah, this game's over. That's so stupid. Oh, we're definitely bringing in the uh, the disenchant. Code of Constraint. I still don't think Code is that great. It's kind of a, it's been obnoxious every single time. <sighs> Slimebind doesn't actually seem that great. I'd rather really have a Quench because they can just sack their guys, which seems like their goal. I think code is good in the tempo decks, but in this deck it didn't, didn't seem like it was ever going to do anything really valuable. My god, we worked so hard in that game and just got nowhere. if you're doing any more tournaments that you'll be able to participate in do you think you would if they invite what is i don't know what you mean sure <laughs> nice must be nice i mean if i'm invited if i'm invited to play in a tournament i definitely would be i definitely i mean i have no reason not to right i can't think of a reason why i wouldn't I 
actually don't hate Summit Guild Gate here. We don't have a play and it keeps us on on the ability for uh You know what I'm saying. God, leave me alone. I like Essence Capture. I like it better when we have a creature on board. I'm really looking for that Frilled Mystic right off the top. Yeah, that's fine. Probably just gonna put one of these guys on the top. Could have played 4 4, but like then we tap out and we leave them Sphinx of Foresight. Why not capture the 2 2? Because we know they have 4 4 in hand. And then we have absolutely no way to permanently deal with a 4 4. That lets them scry every single turn. capture this guy either for the same reason we know they have sphinx of foresight it's like I, we're just going to capture this guy early and then have no answer for 4-4 four, four flyer and it's just it's not great one two three four five i mean i guess we can play this bounce it next turn like if they play it we just bounce it right i mean they're probably going to counter this we didn't see a single counter spell in, in game one and we saw a lot of their deck but next turn we can play all of these things. Yeah, of course you have it. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, you know what else makes big swings when you don't have a creature? A 4-4 four, four flyer. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Pretty sure we're dead. I don't actually feel great about this match. where they sack this guy to final punishment this and we should have blocked first the problem is if they have a counter spell and we block first then it's really bad for us so letting this resolve just final punishment you get to keep your 4-4 four four. like it's a 2 for 1 it's a 2 for 2 there you go you figured it out oh you just pay 5 for it as well wow it's a one for two. I 
actually should have played Enraged Saratog. I, was, I wanted to play this sooner because then we get to tap this guy down. But if we have to Essence Scatter something, we don't get to, to use the ability. I guess we could just decline. We're already at, like we're already dead on board with this guy, which is pretty insane. Yeah, our deck was awkward because we didn't actually get any of the early drops. And I think I'm undervaluing Fairy, uh, the Fairy guy. Oh, it does work. Okay, that's interesting. It's not an adaptability. It's a whenever it counters are placed on this guy ability. That's pretty cool. This is also a match. Did we, they countered this, right? I was like, this is a match where we gained six, too. That's pretty ridiculous. Also, both their guys have death touch. So they're like paying four mana for four fours. And they're just like, oh, well, I got a one. I got a one, two. And you're at four, so deal with that, idiot. Oh, okay. Thanks. I will. Fashion late to the party. All right, so that was good times. Unfortunately, we go one two with this deck. Not ideal. This deck was was surprisingly rough. Unfortunately, we get two packs for that. All right, well let's see what they are. We just didn't have a lot of early game, and and the decks were like our our tempo was not ideal. Like oh my god, this card is hot shit. I keep feeling like I'm missing something. I'm like, am I missing something? Does this card have a, a feature that, like, I don't know about? Like, am I just misreading it? Like, is it, or is it really this bad? It's pretty bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending this video. Crystal, really appreciate the code. Thank you so much. I'm sorry the draft did not go as well as we would have hoped, but uh, there will always be more drafts to come. So thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. Don't forget meundies.com slash Frank Laporte. If you were in the market for that anyway, those kind of products, underwear, clothing, loungewear, whatever, uh, you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. It's a great way to support the stream because I get a kickback as well. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time.